this silent killer has been around for as long as we've been doing this job, and yet the message continues to need to be put out there. We should all have carbon monoxide um, tests in our homes, in our places of work, because it's very simple to detect if you've got the right kit. Yeah, that's absolutely right. Um, and really sadly as well, you know, a lot of people are not aware of the risks of carbon monoxide. So in addition to having alarms in our homes, it's really important that we know um, how to keep ourselves safe outside of the home in slightly unusual circumstances, as that's obviously what's happened here. Um, so yes, it's really vital that we keep raising public awareness of this issue and making sure that we prevent as many avoidable deaths as, as possible, of course. And as Isabel was, was alluding to there, it's astonishing this is still going on. I mean, I qualified in 1995 and I've, I was covering these, those stories then. I mean, it's always been, is it the same thing? Is, is it just dodgy landlords with old boilers who refuse to replace them because it's, it's too expensive? And is that being exacerbated by the cost of living crisis? Yeah, that's absolutely right, Eamon. Um, it's been around for a very long time, and unfortunately, uh, carbon monoxide can be formed when any kind of carbon-based fuel is burnt. So that's your gas, your wood, your coals, your oils, your petrol, in the case of a generator. Um, and I, it's not so much necessarily because um, landlords are at fault. I think, you know, we all have a responsibility to keep testing our alarms um, and make sure that we're educating ourselves and our children. But carbon monoxide, as I said, it can be formed by so many different things. So we've even had incidents of people starting their cars in their garages um, and sadly, you know, having carbon monoxide then coming into their homes. So Fuel poverty does exacerbate it because you're probably less likely to have your regular appliance servicing done if you are a homeowner. And you're probably less likely to have an alarm or have an alarm that works and is of the right quality. So um, all alarms should be uh, BS50291 uh, level of uh, quality and accuracy. That's really important for people to know. There are some um, dodgy alarms out there on the market. So when you're buying an alarm, that's a really critical point to check that you're getting the right thing to protect BS you. BS50921, did you say? BSEN50291. And oh, I can okay, people provide write that, that down. Yeah, we'll try and get that up on a screen um, before the end of the show and, and do a bit of public service broadcasting there because it is the kind of unusual and unexpected environments where things can go wrong. I've done um, stories in the past about um, a couple who were camping and they had one of those outdoor barbecues. Yeah. They brought it inside their tent. Once it had actually been extinguished, they'd finished using it, but obviously there was still carbon monoxide being emitted and, and tragically one of the pair died and the other one was left with life long problems as a consequence and and he gave a terrible and a harrowing account of how they began to feel their limbs go heavy uh, yeah. mentally they knew there was something wrong but the, the energy it, it took to summon to open the zip and be able to call for help was i mean just like a, multiple marathons yeah. combined it was really um awful case but laura the, the situation is um these these alarms are available readily aren't they? you can get them on on amazon and of course other online retailers and we saw some over for about 13 quid so people can take out action for not a lot of money, can't they? Yes, that's absolutely right. Um, we would normally recommend people buy them from a retailer, uh, so buy them from an actual shop because the standards for selling products in shops are different for selling products online. Um, but yeah, your landlord, if you're in rented accommodation, has got an obligation to provide you with an alarm. If you're in an owner-occupied home, it's your duty to provide an alarm for yourself. So absolutely, please get one. You know, it's it's 15 to 25 pounds, extremely well spent. And we all know how important it is to have our fire alarms in our homes. Carbon monoxide is arguably even more important because it is that silent killer. You know, there's no other way that you can detect carbon monoxide apart from an alarm. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, the key uh, message for listeners today is to get one.